Um, it's been a blessing, to be honest. Um, you know, it's something that I waited on for a pretty long time. So uh, when I say it's a long time coming, it's definitely a long time coming. Um, but yeah, I'm just blessed to be out there. You know, blessed to have this opportunity. wasn't really sure what I was going to do when I left Cincinnati. So, um, you know, just have this opportunity again. You know, it, it means the world to me. So. Yeah, you, you mentioned, I mean, long time coming. I mean, what would you have thought if someone had told you five years ago at Ohio State that you'd be in your sixth year of college football playing at Western Kentucky right now? Um, I probably would have looked at him crazy. I, if I'm being honest, I probably would have looked at him crazy. But uh, like I said, man, it's it, it, it's, a, it's been a crazy ride. Um, but, you know, this is what happens when you don't stop. You know what I mean? The more opportunities come and you know, I'm just trying to take full advantage of it um, every every chance that I get. What are the biggest things that you've taken away from just this whole journey to get to where you are now? Um, Really to just keep your nose down and, and, and keep going. Um, one thing I've seen is, you know, a lot of my friends that also went to college to play football, a lot of them didn't last very long just because, um, for whatever reason, man. And, and I just wanted to make, I just wanted to really just do this for myself. You know what I mean? I didn't want to give up on something that I knew I'd never have another opportunity to do again. Um, you know, this is a small portion of my life. And I knew that just being able to put the pads on, run around, catch footballs, um, that's all I wanted to do. So to just not give up, to just not give up, um, hold those close to me even closer. Um, and, and just, and just kept working, just keep working, man. Was there ever a moment where you're like, maybe I should just be done with this? Oh, plenty of times. I think probably every year after I left O State was like just should I even be doing this? You know, what I mean, I never lived up to expectations at O State. I never lived up to expectations at Cincinnati, and you know that hurt me. And it was a lot of long nights, a lot of hard nights with you know me and my family. Um, but you know, we weathered the storm, and. One thing that, you know, my mom always told me was to uh, keep that head high and them shoulders back, no matter how you're feeling. You know what I mean? And that's something that I stand on 100%. So. Going back to, you know, back when you were at Ohio State, what was it that made you, you know, after one year decide that it was time to go somewhere else? Um, I think I just, I wasn't in a good headspace up there. I think that that point was probably one of the mo more tougher times just because I was so young and I just felt really alone, felt like I didn't have anybody. Um, and I just felt like it was a, a change that needed to be made. You know, Coach Meyer was one of my best friends when when I was there and when he left, you know, it, it, it almost broke my heart. You know, it was, it, he had to, you know, it was reasons. Um, but yeah, it just broke my heart, man. And I feel like a change needs to be made. So, you know, I talked to my family for a while and we just decided that it was it was time. And, you know, this past off season, what was it that made you decide to transfer again? Uh, if I'm being honest, <laughs> they, they didn't want me back. Uh, you know, I had just graduated, new coach coming in. Um, you know, he had probably guys he wanted on his mind that he wanted to bring in. So, I mean, I can't blame him. I mean, it's it, as much as I want, if I wanted to be there or not, you know, it is a business. Um, but I left and, you know, Coach Mizell, um hit me up and, and now I'm here and it's, and, and I thank him every day. What is it that made Western Kentucky the right fit for you? Um, allowing me to be me. Man, this is the first time whew, in in years I've just been able to be blue, no matter you know 
bad days, good days. You know, I'm always able to be myself. And, and, and this is a place that people can be themselves. You know, this is like a, a second chance place almost. And guys come in here with all different types of stories from all different types of places and for one common goal. So that's what that is. Um, so I just I just thought that this would be the best place for me just because they allowed me to be me, man. And I'm happy about it. To finally score that first touchdown last week, just what were the emotions like for you? Um, it was like a big weight getting lifted off my shoulders, if I'm being honest. Um, that's one that I wanted for a long time. You know, and my parents were in the stands, my little sister. So to be able to share that moment with them and to be able to share a moment with my teammates uh, meant the world to me. You know, those guys know, kind of know what I've been through, um, how much I wanted it. So, you know, they were, you know, excited for me, man. It was, it was awesome. It was awesome just to get a team win, man. So definitely blessed. What do you think it will be like for you to return to Ohio Stadium and play against Ohio State this week? Um, probably a lot of full of, full of emotions, definitely. Um, you know, I didn't get a chance to play the first time around when I went out when we went back with Cincinnati, and you know that broke my heart, man. I was the only receiver that didn't play that game. I I wonder why, but we'll never know. Um, but I guess God really wants me to play in the shoe because he's bringing me back again. And, you know, just like I said, a lot of emotions, man. You know, I'm going to try to do everything I can to play well. You know, I got a lot of people coming to that game. That's where I'm from. Um, you know, a lot of guys I know on the team still, you know, and, you know, I'm just excited to go back, man. It's going to be a fun, it's going to be fun. Definitely will be. You, you mentioned you know a lot of guys on the team. Is there anybody, you know, from Ohio State that you're still particularly close with? Um, I probably wouldn't say very close with. Um, a lot of the guys that I went there with are on the better things. Um, Josh Proc, probably the one I'm closest with. Um, but, yeah. So. Is yeah, I mean, you know, those guys that you were there with, you know, what's it just been like maybe to kind of see see some of those guys, you know, guys like Chris Olave you came in with now doing what he's doing at the next level? Oh, man, it's great. It's great. Um, he was my roommate when we were at school. So uh, just seeing his whole journey, man, just how he kind of came to O-State, kind of how he got there, you know, what he did his freshman year. Um you know, it's it's great to see. You know, it's great to see guys go getting drafted and, and doing what they talked about. You know what I mean? So. Is is there anything in particular from your year at Ohio State that you, you know, took away that you think has helped you get to where you are now? Um, That grind mentality. You know, Coach Mick definitely will instill that grind mentality in you, no matter what the situation is, the circumstances, whether, you know, snowy games, cold games, rainy games, hot games, you know, no matter what, just, just, just grind. And I think that's, even though I was there for one year, that's something that's, that's always stuck with me is nobody really cares about what you're going through. You know what I mean? Nobody really cares about anything. Just grind. At the end of the day, you are a product of what you put out there. So that's something that he instilled, you know, six years ago. So with everything you've learned over the course of your college career, what's maybe the advice that you would have for someone who's just starting their college career now? Um, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Things will all things will get hard. Things will get probably harder than we've ever imagined. You know, this is a game that we put, that people we've been playing ever since we were kids, and we have a certain expectation for it. And sometimes things don't go our way. You know what I mean? If you ask me 
my freshman year would I be in a would I be going into my sixth year of college I would have looked at you crazy but that's just what it is you know what I mean and people's stories are different and as long as you don't stop as long as you keep going and you know you can look at yourself in the mirror every day and smile I think that you know no matter what the situation is you know and you bless you good so just don't stop them two words have always run don't stop 